I know you guys don't know how to use GitHub. And how do I know? Because when I ask you guys for those GitHub links, you send me the Google Drive link. And it's a serious problem. And also, some of you say that you don't know how to use GitHub. Let me show you how we can do that. First of all, we need to have GitHub inside our computer. And how you can find this out? Simply, you can open your terminal like this. If I can move it right here. And let's search for this git not gti git dash v and if you do this you are going to see the git version now if you don't have all these things you can simply open the browser and search for this git scm and click on this link now i'm currently inside this mac so you will see this download for mac but if you are inside windows then you will see something like this we'll see how we can install it inside of windows later but let's see how you can download this for mac if i click on this that's the command that we need to run can you see this let me bump it up so that's the command that we need to use so brew install git so for this one again you have to open your terminal and run this command brew install git let's press enter and it will take forever just joking but also if you notice here if you come down to this mac and also you can run the sudo command and all these things but the main thing that i want to explain here is maybe you have xcode already installed inside your system and if that's the case then git is going to come with this xcode you don't need to install it but you can find this out with that command that i showed you earlier git dash v now as you can see this is installing our github so let's just wait and this is done already now we have the latest version let's search for this uh, git dash v and now here we should have the 2.41.0 let's see how we can do this inside windows just click on download for windows select the bit of your device and once it is downloaded just double click on the installer then we can simply click on the next next and if you understand these options go through these otherwise just click on the next and here we can select our code editor and because i'm using vs code i'll go with this then you can click on the next 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 and the github will be installed inside your system and once we install github inside our systems second thing that we need to do is we need to connect our system to the github now if you already have github set up inside your system and you can access your git account through your terminal that's fine you don't have to do anything but for now let me show you if you don't have then what we can do okay so for that first of all here i'm going to use this ssh dash t gen and here we are going to have this dash t r s a n dash capital c and here i'm going to provide my email address now this email this can be anything but this is the same email that i'm using for my account so i'm going to simply press enter and here you can see we have this new thing let's just press enter and here it is asking us for the password just i'm going to press enter enter and this is going to create something and what that something is i'll show you that in a bit once you run this command you can simply run cd tilde slash dot ssh and if you are using windows then you can run the following command now let's just press enter and right now as you can see i am inside this folder called ssh now i'm going to simply do this code space period now if i press enter then this is going to open this vs code and here you can see we have this id rsa and id rsa public so this is our private key and this is our public key now this is very sensitive information you don't want to say this to anyone now we are going to copy this and we need to add this key inside our github so i'm going to click on my profile settings and then from here we can go inside this ssh and gpg keys and from inside here you can simply create your new ssh key and here let's add the title my mac i'm going to do this you can add whatever you want here now this is going to be our authentication key as you can see now i'm going to copy public rsa as you can see here we have this id rsa.pub okay this is the file that we want to copy or the content from inside this file now i'm going to paste that thing right here and let's just press on this add ssh key now you have to provide your password and then confirm now we just added this ssh key now once we do this we also need to run another command like ssh dash add and then we have to provide that id underscore rsa now here you don't need to include that dot pub you just need to provide this id rsa and if you press enter 
then this is going to add this identity inside this SSH. Now that's it. With this, we can simply upload our content inside GitHub. And now once you follow all these things, your system is going to connect it to your GitHub. Now let's come here and uh, open your VS code. And then we are going to open folder so that we can create some basic project. I'm going to come to this desktop and let's create this new folder. I'll call it Git learning and let's create this one. And we are going to open this and now here I'm going to create new file and let's uh, call it hello.js, ds, whatever you like. So I'll just create this hello.js. Now inside here, you can do whatever you want. So let's have this cool man and cool man is going to be me. Now after this, let's do the very advanced thing here. I'm going to log the school man to the console. So this is our file. Now we want to have it inside our GitHub. This time we just have the single file. It can be the largest project that you have ever created, but this is what we have right now. Now we want to have it inside GitHub, how we can do this. Now, because we have connected our system to the GitHub already, I can come to my GitHub account and from here I'm going to create this new repo and I'm going to call it GitHub Learning. Now this is going to check for the availability and if this path is available means if you don't have the same project already inside your GitHub then you are going to good to go. Okay, that's fine. Now from here we can select private and public. Now if you want to share this project you can simply select this public. Otherwise if you just want to have this private then you can go with private. Let's make it public so that you guys can see my secret things. Now I'm going to create this repo. Now once we are going to create this repository, you are going to see all these chats. So what are these? Let's first of all come inside here and we are going to understand all these things. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to come here and we need to initialize our GitHub project. So this is the command that we need to run. And for this, you can simply open the terminal right inside your VS code with control a command J and we are going to run this git in it. And if we press enter, then here you can see using master branch, blah, 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 and all these things. The main thing is it is going to initialize our GitHub project. And how you can find this out? If you notice here, we have this hello.js and the color is just changed. And also we have this U flag here and this is called untracked. So this file is untracked. So how are we going to track this? So for that, we can simply use this git add and also you can add your file name like hello.js and that's how we are going to add this file to our github. Now as you can see the flag is changed to A. Now this means we have added this to our next stage. And once we have this what we can do we can simply use this git commit. So the main command that you need to do here is if you don't have initialize your project First of all, you need to initialize the project and this is going to be just for a single time. And whenever you are going to make any changes inside your project and if you want to add this inside your GitHub, then you are going to simply add that file or the changes to your next stage. And we are going to simply commit those changes and then we are going to post this to our GitHub. Let's see what I mean. Now, once we have this, we are going to add the commit message. So this commit message is going to be something like this. First commit with hello JS file. So this commit message can be anything. For example, you can explain what are the things that you have added and what uh, changes that you made and all those things. Okay, you can have this as your GitHub commit message. And once we have this, we are going to simply press enter again. Okay. And if we do this, here you can see we have changed one file, three insertion, and we have this, uh, all these things. I don't know what this is. Now, the main thing is that we don't have the color here. We don't have any flag for this hello.js. Now, this is going to be inside our GitHub if we push this to the GitHub. But if you want to find this out, also you can use this git status. And if you press enter, then as you can see, we don't have anything left. But now if I come here and add another file, so new file.js, so let's add this new file.js. And if I add something here, or if I just make it empty, it doesn't matter. So let's add this user, you guys are the user. So this is the thing that I want to add here. Now, if I just check this git status, as you can see, now we have the untracked file called new file.js. Now, again, if you want to add this, you can do git add and you can add your file name. Or if you want to add the entire file that you have added, you can simply add this period, which is going to be add all these things. Okay. So let's press enter. And now this is going to change to this a and now again, we can do git commit and we are going to change or we are going to add this message added new file called new 
file.js. So this is going to be our commit message and I'm going to press enter. Now if I do this, that flag will go away. Now the next thing that we need to do here is we need to push all the changes to our GitHub. So I'm going to simply come inside my GitHub and here if you see we have this origin URL. So we can simply copy this and I'm going to again come inside my GitHub or inside my project and here we are going to add this long T. So git remote add this origin or we want to use this URL and we want to have all of these projects inside this URL. So let's just press enter. You will not see any message or anything like this. Now let's just do this git push origin and we are going to pass our branch name and most of the time we need to find out on which branch that we are working on sometimes you will be inside the main or sometimes you will be inside the master even though you are not going to change your branch at all according to the different project structure you are going to get different branches for example if you are working inside the wheat you will get different or if you are working inside the nextjs application you may get different branch so we are going to check this with this git branch and if I press enter right now we are inside this master branch. So let's just do this git push origin and we need to add the master and this is going to be our branch name. And now if I press enter this code is going to go to our github. But now it is asking me for the password and the reason for that is I have just updated this one. And now as you can see once I added the password everything will be changed and these things are going to be pushed in this repo and if I refresh this then you can see we have the hello.js and new file.js and let me show you one more cool thing here sometimes we'll have the environment variable inside our project like .env file and inside this .env file we'll have very sensitive information right so how we are going to ignore this whenever we don't want to push anything inside our github and also there will be this uh, something like node modules right node underscore modules or uh, for this one let me come here and i'm going to do this npm init for you guys and let's do this dash y so that we can have the package.json and here i'm going to install my express so this is the very basic thing that we can do here so let's just install it and now here we have the node modules and whenever we are going to upload our code to the github we don't want to add node modules because we can get this whenever we want with our package.json file if we do npm install we are going to get this node modules right and also we don't want to add anything from inside this .env means we just want to ignore these two files and the folders so for that we can add this dot git ignore and if we have this file we can simply add the route or the file names and the folder names that we want to ignore that we don't want to add inside our github so for this one i'm going to use this dot env and i'm also going to use this node underscore modules and now if i save this then both of these colors will be changed as you can see we have this grayed out version for this node modules and for this env now if i made any changes for example i just made these changes i have added the node modules express and all these things i'm going to do that same thing git add all this time i'm using period and git commit so let's commit all the changes added new things like express okay i'm going to press enter now we added a file we committed with this message and i'm going to use this git push origin and we know our branch name which is going to be master and let's just press enter okay and if we do this again it is asking me for the password and now as you can see we have pushed this code to the github now if i refresh this page then here we'll have all these things we'll have the git ignore we'll have the hello.js new file also we'll have package.json log.json but we will not have the node modules and the .env and that is because we have that same exact thing or we want to do that same exact thing with this git ignore file. We want to ignore these two things, right? And now let's understand one more thing here. Now, how we are going to clone this repo? Sometimes you just need to clone the repo. So for this one, as you can see here, we have this code. We can simply download the zip and we can extract the file and we can work with the project. And the next thing that you can do is you can simply copy the HTTPS URL and you can clone the repo. For example, if I come here and let me clear out this, I'm going to go to the desktop and let's cd to next folder called app. And here inside this app, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this git 
clone and we are going to use that URL and after that here if you want to clone this repo like this you can simply run this command or also if you want to change the name of this repo you can simply add the name for example let's call it my new git clone so this is going to be my new name for this project okay i'm going to press enter and now this is going to clone all of the code from inside this github learning repo to this new folder called my new github clone we can simply find that out with the cd my new github thing so let's use my new git clone and i'm going to press enter and if i use this code period then this is going to open this as you can see now we have that same exact project right here we don't have the dot env file and we also don't have the node modules but for the node modules what you can do you can simply run this npm install command like this and if i do this then our node modules will come back as you can see and now when somebody asks you for the github link you can simply come inside your repo and copy this link and send this link to whoever asking this link for don't send the google drive link okay so here are the reminder for all the commands that you need to remember for this github the very first thing that you need to do obviously you need to initialize your git project which you can do with git init then once you made the changes inside your project you need to add all these to the next stage which is going to be happened with git add command then you need to commit all the changes so for that you can use git commit dash m and then you can provide the message for that commit and if you're working inside the new project then you need to first of all add your origin url which you will get from inside the github itself but if you already have that project inside the github on some particular origin you can ignore this part and at the end to push this code to the github we can add git post origin and we can add our branch name which you can get with git space branch and don't forget that dot git ignore file so whenever you want to ignore something if you don't want to add those files or folders to the github you can simply add them inside this git ignore file and this is going to ignore all those things and at the end if you want to clone the repo you can simply use git space clone and the repo url and then you can provide the name or if you want to change the name otherwise you can simply press enter and you are going to clone the repo that's it for this video i hope you like this video and learn something new if this is the case then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one